at TDH, we know our VRSs, especially the 230s. We annually race one at the Valley Run. And we have also done an entire series on building a VRS up to stage two. Stage two, much like this little beast over here. However, this wouldn't be called a TDH exclusive for no reason if it didn't have anything special. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Auto Culture. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and this is an all-wheel drive Skoda VRS 230. So before we dig deep into this all-wheel drive VRS, let's clear a few things out. In Europe, you get two types of VRSs, a diesel and a petrol. The diesel VRS can be opted with an all-wheel drive drivetrain, whereas the petrol one can't. In India, we only have the petrol VRS, which is only front-wheel drive. And why you may ask does Skoda only give the VRS petrol in front-wheel drive is because their parent company Volkswagen sells a little hot hatch called the Golf R which is basically the same setup as the VRS with a bit more power and an Holdex 5 all-wheel drive system. So if Skoda gave the VRS petrol an all-wheel drive system, that means they will indirectly be killing the Golf R's market because the Octavia has more space and a larger boot and Skoda's tend to be cheaper. Now at first glance, this is one of the least aesthetically worked on VRS 230s I've seen as of now. Uh, you still have stock rims and a stock suspension. Deeper inside you can see that you get now DBA slotted discs and you are also on performance pads. But the magic happens at the front. Uh, a subtle eye can see that there are custom braking hoses right here. So brake ducts for uh, braking. And uh, you can also see an intercooler spray from right in front. But you also have a Pipe across full system uh, intake, a stage 2 APR ECU tune, a stage 2 APR uh, TCU tune, a stiffer engine mount which is uh, called a, a 043 engine mount which is the uh, code for the part which makes the car stiffer, the engine uh, stiffer to the chassis and that increases the, uh, that makes the delivery of the power much much better. Uh, apart from that, you also have a Haldex 5 all-wheel drive system, which makes this a full-time all-wheel drive car. Sounds nice. So there's a certain recipe that needs to be followed while creating an all-wheel drive converted car that isn't meant to be all-wheel drive. Since the all-wheel drive drivetrain is meant for the diesel VRS, the Holdex system for the petrol car isn't as straightforward as it seems because the gearbox isn't meant for it. And since Holdex all-wheel drive systems for petrol cars aren't abundant in India or aren't compatible with this generation of car, Nick Trans has taken the drivetrain from an Audi Q3 which is the closest system to the Octavia one. And basically, the whole drivetrain with the new diff and mechanisms is fitted to the car along with new gearbox coding and much more in-depth geeky stuff that we can't explain properly to make this thing work. It's so in-depth that Nick Trans had to go into binary levels of code in order to get this thing to work without any fault codes. So yeah, making an all-wheel drive VRS isn't as straightforward as it seems, even though the VAG family has so many common parts. As we know, the Skoda VRS 230's interior is teeming with luxury. Alcantara everywhere and touches and trims of carbon all around. Uh, in terms of interior, there has been nothing upgraded over here, but there are two small little touches that do make a difference. Uh, one is these carbon fiber, carbon fiber paddle extenders and they are really nice. They give you quite a lot of rev leverage around the steering wheel compared to the stock ones. And you also get this little red button in the center console for your intercooler spray. So that when your engine gets warm, you can just spray some water onto the intercooler and get your engine nice and cool. Oh, I forgot. Uh, this has a race cat, a 200 cell race cat muffler and a full system exhaust. And just listen to it. Okay, wait, I don't want to do anything else. I'm going to drive by.
Now behind the wheel of the VRS, it's a very different experience. I am feeling pushed rather than dragged along from the front wheels. And now what's really cool is that when you are actually flooring it, the car squats from the rear and you have this little lift from the front. But the entire behavior of the car has changed completely. It feels so M340i like. There is no level of disturbance when you corner it. You can flat out it at tremendous amounts of speed and the grip just stays. It's just uncanny. My brain has been blown and I just, I'm so addicted. Whoa! You don't even need traction control in this. It's um, my, currently traction control is off and I haven't made a single squirm out of these PS4 tires. First of all, these tires are amazing. The braking power in this car is just wild. These DBA pads and these DBA discs just... I am in love. I don't know what else to say. I am just so flustered. There is a lot going on in the in the bottom. This, but it just feels just so factory like. I, I, it doesn't feel like a stage two car. There's no ratchet bits around, and it's just so nice. I'm gonna pull it. This Magnaflow exhaust is so nice. It's a full system from Automec and the Magnaflow is only the downpipe, but it just sounds so good and you can hear the burble from the front. It's so nice. I'm having too much fun. I'm pretty sure everyone who's had an Octavia VRS has pondered on the idea that what if their car was all-wheel drive? Because the engine and gearbox are super capable and can remove absurd power figures which are well over 400 bhp but what is the meaning of all that power when it cannot be converted to the road well this holdex all-wheel drive system solves all of those problems the car just squats and takes off moreover with this all-wheel drive system since you have so much grip and confidence at times you're thinking to yourself that you want more power out of the car so here's a quick word from the owner of the car on why he got his all-wheel drive system fitted So my name is Yog and I'm 21 years old and I'm from Surat. Um, I go to film school in New York and it's been two years that I've probably got into motorsports and I've just joined uh, Team N1 Racing from Mumbai. I think this was just after the first, uh, actually the first or second lockdown got over. Um, I read somewhere that API is taking their maps of the server so I was like okay this is my time to go and get it. So I called Harmonix Tuning and uh, they were like, okay, we try to find someone who's in Surat to get you it, the map. And I, I didn't know at that point that anybody in Surat was doing it. So he sent me to Nick and the first thing we did was we flashed it to stage two, put it on a down pipe. So I drove the car like that for a while and then I was like, okay, now I'm bored with this, I'm getting too much wheel spin. And so then Nikun showed me his project, which was the Polo, which initially was upside down in a corner of his garage and was covered the whole area. And I was like, bro, it's me, yeah. So he was like, this is like, he explained to me the whole project. It's an all wheel drive Polo, 400 BHP. I was like, this is mental. So once he made this, then one, he, one day he called me, I was like, we need to change the tires. Like they keep getting um, worn out. So he was like, you also get the all wheel drive done. I was like, I have all the parts. I'll get it done, itna itna hoga. I'll give, it, give the car to me for like 20 days, I'll turn it all the He was like, there's a drag race, this is the time to do it. And I was like, okay, go for it. So Nikunj put all together in one week. The one week before the drag race, he put together his car, he put together my car. He, this guy didn't sleep for a week. And we went to Valley Run with a stage to uh, tune on it. And we did a 30 in one there. So the, also the other thought process behind it was everybody uh, goes with a stage 3 or a turbo upgrade but the biggest problem is the wheel spin. You ha it doesn't matter, you can put the biggest, fattest tyres on there and you'll still get wheel spin up to 100, 130. So this, we, we want to take it further, we want to take it to at least 450, 500 bhp. 
and this is base, the base platform for this car because after converting it to all wheel drive the car actually feels slower it it tells you that it needs more power this magical car has definitely won my heart over but i still struggle to wrap my head around how such a digital and unattached car in its stock form turns into a lively telepathic grip monster with a drive train change i'm pretty sure if skoda didn't have a thing like market share or cost cutting this would have been a reality from factory but for now all we can do is thank nikunj bhai for making such a masterpiece and letting us share it with the world for now that's it from my side thank you so much for watching if you'd like some sick merch like this check out throttlestore.co.in tdh15 for a nice discount from my side